Today in this 2018 Nissan Murano, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Kirk Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13205. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. One of the things you'll notice is that we have plenty of clearance around our receiver, so it makes a great hitch to use with bike racks and cargo carriers. Don't have to worry about any interference from your bumper. The frame of the hitch follows the contours of our rear fascia nicely to give us a nice clean look. On the side of the receiver, you'll find your industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure your hitch mounted accessories. You can pick up a pin and clip separately on our website as part number PC3, and that'll just slide through that hole, and you can clip it in place to secure whatever item you're installing in your hitch. On the bottom of our receiver, you'll find our plate style safety chain loops. And what's great about these is even though they have a somewhat small opening, you can still clip on a very large hook like this one with ease. It also will come off very easily too. This hitch features a 350 pound max tongue weight rating, and that's the amount forcing down, and a 3,500 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. It does not support the use of weight distribution, so just keep that in mind if you're planning on towing a small trailer with weight distribution. Also, if you are using it for a bike rack or a cargo carrier, any non-trailer application or non-wheeled load does require the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. You want to make sure you consult with the owner's manual of your Murano and not exceed the capacities of the vehicle. Go by whichever number is less. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier. You're looking at about 12 inches from the ground to the top of the 2 inch receiver opening and about six inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've got our some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we're gonna locate ourselves at the driver's side frame rail, and we're gonna point out where our installation hardware goes. Now, depending on your application, you may have a factory tie-down hook in this little area that you need to remove. In our case, we don't. We have several weld nuts up here in the frame that we'll be using. We'll use this one here closest to the front, the one here next to it, and then the one at the very back. Now it's a good idea to take the spray lubricant, go inside your well nuts, and use a wire brush to help clean out the threads. We have these available on our website as part number 814092. Our passenger side is similar, except we only have two well nuts. We have one closer to the front and one closer to the rear. Our hitch will be secured with five bolts that are identical and conical tooth washers. The teeth of the washer will face away from the bolt head and up towards the hitch. Now with an extra set of hands, we can raise the hitch in a position and secure it in place with our hardware. Once we have one bolt started on each side, it'll help support the weight of the hitch and we can let go of it. With all of our hardware now started, we can tighten it down. We use a 19 millimeter socket for this. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. And that completes our look at and showing you how to install the Kirk Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13205 on this 2018 Nissan Murano.